This is my sister's Hillborn. Yeah, she bought this in 2012 after a bunch of emails backwards and forwards with Rivendell. I believe Kevin she dealt with, who was super, super helpful, even via email. She was going to get one of the new batch of Taiwanese side pull Sams that had just come in, the blue ones. This fella here. Um, yeah. And Kevin talked her out of it because of her PBH to height. Um, she is, gosh, I don't know her measurements. But she's got a very small PBH. She's got she's got a smaller legs to torso ratio, which is the opposite of the problem I have, where I have long legs, stumpy arms. And even though her height would have been a 50 centimeter, her PBH was on the edge here, and she's ended up. They had this 48 centimeter in the back room, Waterford built canty post um, and he ended up selling it to her for the same price which was 1200 1200 US dollars at the time the exchange rate was excellent back then I think she paid 1200 Australian it was over parity um, it's back down to its usual 70 cents now but back then it was 110 cents or something um, which is why I bought a Rivendell at all. It's cheaper than trying to get a Surly in the LBS. She's got all of the 2012 accoutrements. Uh, she's got the the Seguino. We got a very nice, and I assume now incredibly rare, Jura Ace Triple. Yes, a 7700 or a 7800. Probably, probably 7800. This is such a great derail though. I mean, this this was the beginning of the end for Shimano's styling, but this thing has a certain charm to it. The S65 seat post, we had, ignoring that right now, we had the, um, we got the Albatross, a copper crane, um, we had the Plesher, though I'm pretty sure she ran the double legger originally. We've got these beautiful Tetro cantilevers. CR720s. Oh, boy, that's pushing my memory. I think that's what they are. Please correct me. Cute. The little nido. Some random Tetro levers. These would have been from Rev as well. Other twin. 2012 mainstays, we've got the Tubus rack, absolutely brilliant, lightweight, fantastic. Nitto, the Nitto do not put a basket on this rack, it's not strong enough rack with a basket on it. Uh, the Rando rack, I can't remember its designation. I guess we got a lot of parts from Velo Orange because these wheels are pure Velo Orange. We've got rims and the old Grand Crew hubs. And that is a light wheel set. Um, and it's been reliable, even though she ended up with, I guess, the champion DT Swisses, not the competition, because they're straight gauge. I didn't build these wheels. I think she had a bike shop build them. The Gravel Kings fit just. I wouldn't want to push it. Uh, there's about a mil and a half in the rear and about two mil either side on the front in the fork. The VPs would have been a later addition. I think she was originally running Sylvans. Oh, it's this pet. This might have been Katie's original pedals here. Oh, the Appaloosa. <clears throat> Guys. 
This bike is stunning. Just can't. It's becoming my favourite bike, except it's just obviously with 2.8s, it's not an around the town versatile bike. So it can never be my favourite bike because I can't just get on it. Though I did, I just literally went to the shops with it. But so yeah, this was an a the epitome of 2012 and the reason we're talking about it at all is that it still has dirt on it from 2012 and she wants to try these bull mooses we're heading three weeks out on the trail and she doesn't want to use her albatrosses we're trying a little bit of a different setup and that's what I'm doing today well, this evening. That's what I'm starting this evening. Works better than a headset press. So I'm Oh my god, she's just put her head on there. You can hear the clunking. That is uh, annoying. And the, it's the cassette itself, the cassette spacing, you can't tighten, tighten the lock ring up enough. The cassette just sits there loose. I had the same problem on my Homer and I gapped it out with, I think an ice cream tub lid. And I made some spaces. It's frustrating. I'll fix that. With my precision instruments, I managed to hack a bit of this. 
um, to this, which which looks absolutely terrible, but um, it's kind of all I got. If it was an 11 speed hub, you could just use a spare cog to space it, done that before. There's actual spaces obviously you can get, done that before. That's not the problem, it's a manufacturing error and this 10 speed hub, this 10 speed hub doesn't fit 8 and 9 speed or 10 speed cassettes properly. Just compressing it, but uh -huh. no more wobble. It works, but for how long? For how long? <sighs> that is not seated properly. If I remove the washer, if that washer wasn't there, it would work. Or if I had a bolt that was flatter, but I don't. So. Smaller bolt. Of course, the bolt that was on there, the washer, was attached to it. And I tried removing it, it destroyed the bolt. So now we've got enough clearance. We've got enough room to put a bag on here. I worry about this little grub nut.
Alright, we're just about finished for today. Um, still needs bottle cages and a basket. I'm super happy with how the double thummies have come out. I'm gonna get some ergons. Those are just the old grips, just sitting there. Um, yeah, the double thummy works amazingly well. And means I've got the bell down here. And Katie's test ridden it. We're just gonna get a bigger basket. 139 would be perfect, but finding one in WA is not gonna happen, so probably something from Bunnings. She's looking pretty swell. It turns out past Brendan knew what he was doing and this was up this high and that far off the main chain ring for a reason because the back plate hits. So it works now like that perfectly. Um, just the old brakes on the rear working as good as ever. New cables, uh, new levers, some SS6 is my favourite levers ever that I had laying around. Um, and the big front rack. I'm gonna have to lock tight all these nuts. I haven't lock tighted them yet because they will come loose. The fork flex will make them come loose because they're fixed at the hard points. And that's just previous experience. That's why I, I would usually use a bracket of some sort. Penny. Penny, fetch. Good girl. Don't eat garbage. Um, I'm sure there's other things I meant to say, but this will do for now.